Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain how to solve basic equations. An equation is an algebraic statement consisting of two algebraic expressions connected by an equal sign. It signifies that the expression on the left of the equal sign has the same value as the expression on the right. Here's an example. 3x minus 5 equals 2x plus 9. This equation states that 3x minus 5 has the same value as 2x plus 9. When we solve this equation, we determine that these two expressions can only be equal when x equals 14. That is, if x equals 14, then both sides equal 37, as you can see. 3 times 14 minus 5 equals 42 minus 5, and that equals 37. And 2 times 14 plus 9 equals 28 plus 9, and that equals 37. This is a linear equation. If the equation contains a term with x squared in it, then it is a quadratic equation. In this video, we will only deal with linear equations. Equivalent equations. Two equations are equivalent if one can be transformed to the other by a simple operation, such as multiplying both sides of the equation by the same value. For example, 2x plus 7 equals 13 is equivalent to 4x plus 14 equals 26, because if we multiply both sides of the first equation by 2, then we obtain the second equation. If one equation is equivalent to another, then the second equation gives us no new information that we didn't already have in the first equation. Every solution of the first equation is also a solution of the second. If two equations are not equivalent, they are said to be independent. Linear equations. A linear equation is a polynomial equation with x, or x and y, as variables and with every variable having an exponent of 1. Here are two examples. 4x plus 2 equals 6 plus x, and 5x minus 3y equals 17. They are called linear because the graphs of these equations on the coordinate plane are straight lines. If there is only a single equation, and it has only one variable or unknown, it can be solved that is, the value of the unknown can be determined, provided the equation is consistent and is not an identity. For example, here is an equation that is not consistent. x plus 2 equals x plus 3. This supposed equation is inconsistent, because if we subtract x from both sides, we get 2 equals 3, which is false. So it's not a legitimate equation and has no solution. Here's an equation that's actually an identity. 2 times 3x plus 5 equals 6x plus 10. If we expand the left side by multiplying, then 2 times 3x plus 5 just gives us 6x plus 10, which is the right side. This equation is true for all values of x, so it has an infinite number of solutions. In fact, that's an easy way to recognize an identity. If you plug in several arbitrary values for x, and in each case the resulting value on the left side is the same as the resulting value on the right, then the equation is an identity. If an equation is consistent and is not an identity, then it has a solution, as we show in this example. 4x plus 2 equals 6 plus x. So, 4x plus 2 minus 2 equals 6 plus x minus 2 and 4x equals 4 plus x. Now if we subtract x from both sides, 4x minus x equals 4 plus x minus x, we get 3x equals 4, so that finally x equals 4 divided by 3. Linear equations with one unknown can normally be solved by the repeated application of this principle. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide both sides by the same number. This is done until the equation shows x on one side and a real number on the other. Problem. Henry's triplet granddaughters were born on his birthday ten years ago today. Since he is now 54, 
in how many years will the combined ages of the triplets equal his age? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. In word problems, we normally use a variable to represent the quantity we are seeking. So we let x equal the number of years before the combined ages of the triplets equals Henry's age. That being the case, we can use the information we're given in the problem to formulate an equation. 54 plus x equals 3 times 10 plus x. Let's explain this equation. In x years, Henry will be 54 plus x years old and the triplets will be 10 plus x years old. Since we're combining the triplets' ages, we multiply 10 plus x by 3. We then set these two quantities equal to each other, and that gives us the formula for when their combined ages will equal Henry's. Now we solve the equation for x. 54 plus x equals 30 plus 3x. So 54 minus 30 equals 3x minus x. Therefore, 24 equals 2x and 12 equals x. In 12 years, Henry will be 66 and the triplets will be 22. Since 3 times 22 equals 66, the combined ages of the triplets will equal Henry's age. So the correct answer is B. Problem. 12 is the arithmetic mean, or average, of the numbers x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 5, x plus 7, and x plus 9. What is the value of x? And here are some possible answers. Let's find the solution. To get the average of five numbers, we add up the numbers and divide by 5. Since the average is 12, this gives us an equation. The quantity x plus 1 plus x plus 3 plus x plus 5 plus x plus 7 plus x plus 9 divided by 5 equals 12. Combining the values in the parentheses, we get 5x plus 25 over 5 equals 12, so that x plus 5 equals 12, and therefore x equals 7. So the correct answer is D. For more practice GMAT problems, see our other videos, and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our eBooks, GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.